Hey, Bernie Dog here. I'm um, going to show you a demonstration on how I put together the inner parts of my caps, my Bernie Dog caps. What we have here, this is a set for an inner cap for a Dragon Tamer 2. This is a piece of tubing. I've already brazed the lid onto it what I call the lid. It's a piece of sheet metal that goes on to the end of the piece of tubing. I've cut to size uh, and then I use a, a pair of tin snips and a lot of force to uh, clip it round and then I use a belt and disc sander um, to sand it flush and to trim it up. I do a little sandblasting to clean out the old flux and any crud so it's nice and clean and ready to braze. Um, this is a piece of sheet metal. <laughs> Again, 4130. It's a .049 thickness. The tubing here is .049. The, the, the sheet metal on top is .049 inches, inches thick. Here we have a uh, mini cap in progress. This is going to be the inner for the mini cap, the sheet metal. Um, you can see this is mini cap base for the base of the cap. I'm going to braise these on here. Here's how I do this. Um, first is, this is my roll of uh, sill braise wire. This is, um, what was it? I think it's 364. So once again, I get it from McMaster Car. This is the gap filling variety. This particular roll is probably about oh, half a roll or two, man, about two thirds of a roll left. Uh, these rolls cost me um, about $330 right now. Um, it comes out to about eight and a half or nine dollars a foot. It's sold, th these are five troy ounce uh, rolls of wire. The wire is um, expensive because it's like something in the neighborhood of 54% solid silver. So you're actually sell you're buying it as if it were silver on the open market. I cut little pieces with my little pair of clippers. They're about a quarter inch long on average. I just kind of guesstimated. I just have done it so long I kind of got it figured out. Four pieces get cut for um, each inner uh, cap joining. I see I can't talk and count either. <laughs> All right, there we go. So there's eight pieces. That'll take care of me. Over here, I have <laughs> my black flux, which you can't read the label. I have a new one here. Here we go. Um, I don't know if you can read that. But anyway, this is the black style flux inside. It looks like this. Black gooey. It has um, boron, I believe, is what, yeah, boron modified, which means it's good for steel and stainless steel. Um, and brass, of course, but um, it, it's really good for the ferrous metals. Works well for me. How do I do this? Well, I go ahead and paint a little bit on the rim here, all the way around. I've sanded the metal, the metal sheet, of course, ahead of time, so it's good and clean, too. With bra silver brazing, I found that cleanliness is the way to go. So now I just eyeball that for the center of the sheet. I'll go ahead and pull that back off, and then here's what I do here. I put four little spots. You will see this. Yeah, four little spots right there. And I use my tweezers, these are stainless tweezers. They're just like hobbyist tweezers, nothing fancy. And I put the, the pieces on the inside of the cap, or where the inside's going to be. And then I center it in here again and eyeball it. If you, if you want, you know, you can measure take a ruler and measure so that it's equally spaced. You know, I've kind of done it enough by now and plus I'm pretty good with eyeballing things to know where it's going to be. Note that I've drilled... Well, here, I'll tell you what. We need to zoom in on this so you can see it a little better. Hang on. 
Okay, so note that what I've done here is I drill two vent ports, one right here and one, one right here. Um, I just do that with one of my 50, number 55 drill bits to make a little air space. If I don't do that, what happens is the air and the moisture that's inside here from the flux is going to want to expand and it'll make this cap bounce around and I won't be able to get it centered. It'll be dancing around and I'll be trying to poke it with my tweezers as I'm heating and it, it's just real hot stuff. Here, I've done that on this little mini cap too. You can see that, the mini cap inner. So once again, paint the flux on here. This is just a little um, nylon uh, artist brush, nothing fancy there either. Uh, you know, I get them in a set of about like 20 of them or something like that. On, usually on sale when back to school starts because all the kids need, you know, their art supplies. Once again, put my four little spots there. That helps the, uh, the silbraze wire flow back over into the edge of the cap and also allows me to uh, not worry so much about whether it's going to make it over there. Okay. Now over here I have just an old tin can with some water in it. Clean my brush. No big deal. You can thin your um, still brazing flux with water or with alcohol, as in denatured alcohol, that you can get in a paint department at, at uh, uh, Home Depot. It's the same stuff that I use to preheat stoves, so I have it around. Um, and I tend to use a 50-50 mix. Some people use all alcohol. It burns away faster. You'll see a little bit of flame as we fire these up. Now, I'm going to put these off to the side here where they're out of the way. Yep, okay. And then, I'm going to take my torch. This is a MAP torch, MAP fired torch. I got it again at Home Depot. It's a Burnsomatic. Here's the torch itself. And this, this hose goes off to a remote canister over here of, of, of uh, MAP gas. It's yellow container. If you go to Home Depot, you'll find it. Uh, it's about 10 bucks for a um, you know, propane size container of it. All right, here we go. What I like to do is heat up my working area so that I have a lot of heat underneath the cap. These blocks I'm using, these, these blocks here, are um, kiln blocks. Kiln blocks. They uh, are used to line the inside of ceramic kilns. Um, these particular ones I got off eBay. Before this, I had another set I got from a local kiln supplier. They run six or seven dollars each. The blocks I have underneath are fire brick, and they're there just to give me a little more altitude. There's, that would be the kind of stuff you'd use in a wood stove. The white brick that I'm heating up here insulates well, so it doesn't transmit heat to my wooden bench or anything. All right, once I have this spot heated up, I'll just go ahead and carefully lay my cap blank in there and I can start heating it up. You can see some material uh, oozing out through the holes. You can see the metal start to change color. It will go through uh, a blue shade into a straw color and eventually to a gray shade. It shouldn't be necessary to get these red hot. Sometimes if it doesn't flow correctly I will do that. But mostly I like to keep the temperatures down so it's just barely starting to pick up some, some glowing color. As the uh, flux gets effective it'll go from black to clear. Hopefully you can see that on the video. It's starting to look like water. And what I want to do is apply heat to the outside edge here, as you see, and that's going to draw the liquid, um, the liquid silbrace wire will liquefy, and it'll it'll draw it to the joint. And you'll see a silver edge. There it is. There it is. There's the silver edge right there. That's the silbrace wire melting and coming out to the edge. And 
I just go around, just barely glowing. I've got a nice, um, can you hear this? It gets me a little nervous every time I do it. <laughs> My voice gets all high and funny. All right. Let's take a look at that, maybe up closer. Okay. There you go. So you can see the silver has gone to the edge. The metal is nice and clear and shiny. Clean and shiny. That's what the flux does. Let's do the other one. While that area is still hot, once again, I like to heat up the outside. The heat direct, the metal directly under the cap has to get hot by conduction. So it takes a while for it to actually get hot underneath there. So I try to concentrate on the outside, let that heat conduct in there before I too, put too much heat on the cap itself. We've got that good color change now. The flux is starting to go clear. It's starting to get uh, a, little, a little glowing. Come on there. Somewhere in here there's some silver rays wire. There it is, starting to turn silver. Right there, there it goes. And it's going all the way around. You got it. Looks good. Nice and liquidy puddle. It's all super duper. Now, how do you know how soon you can move it? Well, it'll be all shiny and silver. And the second it goes to um, hard, it'll kind of get... Um, not not shiny anymore. It, it loses some of its shine. It'll be like super chrome plated while it's still liquid. And as soon as it goes hard, it'll kind of just turn more like a, a silvery color without the shiny part. So this one has done that. And then I'll, I'll set this one aside. And uh, it's ready for the next operation. Um, and I'll show you that sometime too. But that's this video for today is just to show you how to put these together. Mostly for the cap guys at BWCA who are trying to build caps. This is how I do it. Good luck to you. Bernie Dog out. See you, bye.